12s and welcome to today's calculus lesson. What we're going to do today, we're going to do additional examples on the first rule of differentiation. So let's jump straight into it. We're going to do three examples. Uh, the one will be a normal y equals to 2 over x, that is a hyperbola, and we're going to get the dy dx of that. The second one we're going to do just now with a square root, just close that square bracket over there, and the third one will be just a normal fraction. How are we going to do, deal with that? Right, the first one, to get the dy dx of that, we need to rewrite this guy a little bit uh, differently so that we can work with uh, exponents above the line. What do I mean by that? We can rewrite this one as 2 and this x, we can take it to the top and if we do that, we need to change, we need to change the exponent. So we rewrite this 2 over x as 2x to the power of minus 1. And now we can apply the differentiation rule quite nicely. So what do we do? We write down dy dx. Remember, that y points to that y over there. And as we said previously as well, dy dx means what is the gradient of this expression or this equation that I have over here? Get it, but we write it like this. We don't say gradient, we just say dy dx. That means get the first derivative of 2x to the power of minus 1. So that's very easy now. So it's 2 times minus 1 gives me minus 2. Write down the x to the power of, okay, minus 1 minus another one. And that gives me a minus 2. A minus 2 over there. And that worked out quite nicely. Well, um, let's rewrite it in positive exponents. So what we're going to have here is minus 2 over x squared. So for a hyperbola of 2 over x, to get the first derivative of it, dy dx it, then my answer will be minus 2 over x squared. The second example. Let's have a look, see how we're going to deal with this square root over here. Now, this is a different notation that we can see. We can say ddx this expression. ddx this expression. There we had dy dx and y was given, but instead of saying y equals to square root of x to the power of x to, to 5, we can just say ddx this expression. Just a different notation. But the rules stays <coughs> the same. It's not <coughs> nice to work with the square root over here. So let's rewrite this expression as follows. Remember, we have an invisible 2 over there. So we can get rid of that square root sign by doing the following. So we have x is equal to x to the power of 5 over 2, right? And remember, we want to ddx it, right? We want to ddx x to the power of 5 over 2. Right, now we can apply the rule very easily. 1 times 5 over 2 gives me 5 over 2 x to the power of. Now I just need to subtract 1 from 5 over 2 and that is equal to 3 over 2. And that is my answer. As you can see, I didn't, I didn't write a ddx in front of this value over here because this ddx applied to this expression over here and that is my answer. So you don't rewrite ddx again because you've done the ddx. Right. Um, let's move to example number 3. Get the differentiation, the first derivative towards x of this expression. Right. And remember, we have a division over here, so we need to simplify this guy a bit. We cannot say, ah, oh, the first derivative of 4 is 0, and actually, oh, the answer is 0. No, we cannot do that. We need to rewrite this expression so that we can apply our rule over there. Now, how do we do that? Well, 
similar that we did this with this one over here. We have something below the line, so we just take it to the top. Okay. So this is equal to differentiate towards x. Yes, that's what we want to, want to do. And we can rewrite this coefficient as 4 over 3. And this x squared, I can just take to the top, to the numerator, and just change the sign of my exponent. Meaning, x to the power of minus 2. Here we go. Now we can work with that. Now I'm going to dx this expression. So I'm not going to write dx again, because I'm going to apply the differentiation rule. So what do I do? Is I say minus, uh, 4 over 3 times minus 2 gives me an answer of minus 8 over, I think this is terrible, minus 8 over 3, right? x. And now what do I do? I need to subtract 1 from minus 2, and minus 2 minus 1 gives me a need minus 3. Like, let's rewrite this a little bit better, uh, so that we don't have negative exponents. So that is equal to minus 8 over 3. Take the x down, x to the power of 3. Okay. Right, thank you grade 12s, and enjoy the rest of the day, and all the best for the rest. Thank you. Thank you.